mean, this is too cool. The fact that someone actually threw this on a trailer and brought this out to a Cars and Coffee. Only in Southern California. I can't imagine where else this takes place. Welcome to Drive Culture. I'm Jonathan Rivers, and today we're at the Pelican Parts Cars and Coffee in Palos Verdes, California. And if you've never been to this event, you are in for a special treat. Now, mostly, mostly you're gonna see a lot of really cool Porsches. So if you're a Porsche guy, if you're in the Porsche club, let us know down in the comments below. But there is a bit of everything here and some really special cars. So what we're gonna do is maybe once a month, we're gonna try to come to events like this, check out the cars, get involved with the car guys. I mean, that's the culture part of this channel. So if that sounds like content you're interested in, click the bell to subscribe to come back for more. And with that, let's get after it. So, like I said, this is primarily a Porsche Cars and Coffee, uh, given that it's Pelican Parts. But not only do you just see 911s and things like that here, you actually see stuff like this. I mean, a Porsche Carrera GT. I'm guessing that the value on a car like this now, given especially how immaculate it is, has got to be close to $3 million. It's insane but let me actually blow your mind because you see here, there's a black Porsche Carrera GT. There's not just one, there's actually two, two of them here at the same show. It's absolutely insane. I heard that they actually rolled in together, which makes a lot of sense, but who actually has this car, right? Let us know in the comments down below. Have you ever even seen a Porsche Carrera GT in person, let alone two of them? That's what you get when you come to this type of car show. But like I said, you're gonna see all kinds of cars. You got a GT 350R. So you Ford guys, you Mustang guys, comment down below. But like I said, there's a lot of Porsches here. So let's kind of go down the different rows, right? This is actually a school parking lot uh, where really everyone just shows up on Saturday morning. So let's go ahead and see what's down the next row. Um, like I said, there's all kinds of brands, products that you could imagine. Like I said, there's all kinds of Porsches here. This one's actually wrapped in like a baby blue. Tell us down in the comments below, do you wrap your cars? If so, what colors you did? I wrap my Integra Type S in matte film. We'll show that later. But how cool is it, right? They even have like a Tesla Roadster here that showed up. So like I said, there's a little bit of everything. You got some old school BMWs here. Uh, but really, like I said, this is Porsche City. Uh, really nice Panamera 4S with bronze wheels in that chalk paint. Chalk for me is definitely one of Porsche's best colors, super popular. I think the only color I might like better is this, which is Miami Blue. So this is a 718 Cayman GTS in Miami Blue. Let us know down in the comments below what's your favorite Porsche color. Are you all about, you know, PTS? Do you like the traditional colors? Like I said, there's lots of chalk cars. There's a couple Miami Blue cars. This GT3 looks awesome. Very, very nice HRE wheels on here. So gotta love it when people put their own touch on it, right? Do some customization, but super, super clean. 911, 991 GT3. But there's not just Porsches here. Like I said, there's the Ferrari Club. And when I mean Ferrari, I'm not talking like 458 or 488, things like that. These are some classics here. Uh, we got a black Ferrari Testarossa. Like for me growing up, like that was the machine, right? That boxy 80s style Ferrari just looks so good, so rare. And then you also got a Ferrari 308 GTS and it looks super clean. So props to the owner here, looks really awesome. I'm sure it sounds amazing on startup too. And, I, and although I really like the other GT3 we just pointed out, this one here is a 911 GT3 Touring. So if you're familiar, it's where they do basically the spoiler delete, and it looks like it's more road compliant, right? Less track focus. I'm sure it still rips around a track, as you guys know, but again, I think if I were to go to GT3, I would go more this route. I, I, like, the, I like the no wing. It's a very clean design. And again, props to this owner because the color combo he has is on point. And in case
case you ever wanted to run the salt flats, look at this thing. I mean, this is too cool. The fact that someone actually threw this on a trailer and brought this out to a Carson Coffee, only in Southern California. I can't imagine where else this takes place. But again, props to the owner for bringing that out. That's something truly, truly special. Like I said, again, there's some awesome Porsches here, including this, a GT3 RS. Uh, again, props to the owner, all black, super stealth, looks fantastic. And again, admittedly being a Honda Acura guy, nothing wrong with an NSX Type S, especially knowing that they only built 350 of these things in the entire world. So again, to have one here at the show, super awesome. It's got that uh, casino white pearl paint with a red interior, similar to my uh, platinum white red Integra Type S. So shout out to the owner here. This car looks absolutely fantastic. But again, 911S, Fox or Spider, that looks fantastic. I mean, there's literally every kind of car under the sun. 911 Turbo and so much more. I mean, there's even some classic, you know, BMWs, Volkswagens. Of course, you're gonna have a new Supra. There literally is every vehicle here that you can imagine. Row after row, it's just so many cool cars, and I just love being in this environment, seeing the owners talk about their cars, you know, they're popping the hoods, opening the doors, you know, guys are just uh, talking about their cars. Um, it, it's so cool, and there's no, uh, you know, there's no pretentious people here, right? Even the fact that there's some really, really nice, really, really expensive cars here, people are, you know, are just totally welcoming even when they have a Lamborghini Aventador. And look at this thing, it's in matte black. It's literally the Batmobile. And the fact that they got the doors up and the engine bay open as well, it just shows that people are welcoming, right? You can check this out. And how cool is it that not only do we have an Aventador here, but a Murcielago as well, right? So you actually get to see the evolution of Lamborghini's V12 supercar. It looks fantastic. Again, props to both owners because both of those cars are super duper clean. And I actually like that the Aventador's, uh, you know, brakes are the orange, just like the Murcielago. So definitely nice touch there. But as we keep going, again, you got some classic Beamers here, even a classic, uh, you know, Mercedes, right? Big, big body sedan. That was definitely a thing growing up for me in the 90s, this uh, Mercedes style here. But uh, yeah, I mean, awesome, awesome event. Just a couple of other cars that we'll point out here are these 911s right here. I love the specs. I love this 991 here. It's that classic, you know, sport design. Uh, body kit on the 911. This one actually has that duckbill spoiler. Let us know down in the comments below. Are you, do you like the spoilers that kind of retract and shoot out? Or are you going with something like that duckbill, that static spoiler? Also, this blue on this 911 is fantastic, right? Again, looks so good. Awesome wheels, BBS wheels. I like the fact that they're unpainted. You know, right now the, the, the trend is black wheels, bronze wheels, even white wheels are starting to make a comeback. But there's something special about a real clean aluminum wheel. So let us know down in the comments below. Are you going colored? Are you keeping it traditional? We'd love to hear your feedback. All right, so at Drive Culture, we're not just about exotics. We're not about just one type of car. We're really gonna try to cover everything. So even classics and muscle cars and stuff like that. So check out this Camaro SS. I mean, it's super duper clean. I mean, it looks incredible. And the fact that, you know, the, again, the owner's got the engine bay open for people to see, lets people peek inside. It just shows, again, that people are here to have fun, to share their toys, their products. Uh, look at this Charger, man. I mean, my God, this car, again, is totally pristine. You can get away with that here in Southern California. You don't have to worry about salt and weather. I mean, but clearly the owner takes a lot of pride in it. And lastly, I mean, this Cobra, right? I mean, just really tuned out to the gill. And the fact that <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh at this car because again, you can see the engine bay. The owner even went ahead and created a spec sheet and left that on the windshield to show you all the things that they customize about their car. So with that, let's continue on and check out more. All 
right, guys, that's a wrap. What did you think of this car show? It is incredible, right? To see these cars, you know, million dollar exotics, you know, crazy wide body Porsches, uh, you know, tuner cars, Ferraris, Lambos, there's a little bit of everything here. And the fact that they do this event, this event's once a month, but there's other events that are out like this every single Saturday. So like I said, we're coming back. We're gonna go to more of these events. Again, thanks for joining the channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that bell to subscribe and come back for more.